Hi, Barry Thompson from BoatMags.com. Today we're looking at the Rayline 185EX. This is a uh, typical American style bow rider, but with a Kiwi touch. This is a bow rider. As I've said, bow rider, open bow. It's where you sit, kids can go in here as well. Got good storage under the squabs. Comes with a couple of drink holders and handles. Going back through here, you've got a walk through screen. So this is closed now. When you've got a cover on here, if it is, comes up a bit choppy when you're coming home, that gives you all the protection you need. It's just like having a deck on. Now, I've had many bow riders in the past and I always found that this is the place to put the kids. Little kids, they love it. And you can keep an eye on them. They may get a bit wet, but hey, they love that when they're boating. So nice, easy access through here. Good solid screen, which is what you want. Lock that down. So now we've got a helm as a single swiveling bucket seat, so good driving position, plenty of leg room under here. It's not a boat you stand to drive, it's a boat you sit to drive. You can swing that round, talk to the people out here if you are into having a bit of a fish or just a bit of a social time on the bay. So back at the helm here, really, really sporty looking helm. I like the, the black with the red stitching. Um, one instrument, Raymarine, engine management system, it's got everything you need for your Merc, what they've got on the back here. Controls come to hand easily, and also another drink holder. It's one thing they, they've have copied from the American boats, they love their drink holders. On the other side, we've got a seating arrangement here. Now these back-to-back -back seats with storage under, these slide out, so they form How's that? You can lie down on there, lie in the sun, whatever you like. Further aft here, got storage down either side. You have a stereo obviously mounted here, it's a Fusion. They're great stereos, nice and waterproof, with waterproof speakers. Really get that sound coming out, especially you've got a skier on the back. Further storage, under here, turn that. There's a big storage area, it's got the cover for the, the uh, bow under here. I think that's going to be long enough. Yep, you get a you get wakeboards and skis and so forth under there and short rods. Another nice feature of the boat is the full beam aft seat. What this does is gives you six adults, maybe even up to seven kids seating. So the cockpit area is, is spacious enough for skiing and taking the kids out for a picnic and stuff like that. It's not designed for fishing, but it's not what the boat's for. These come up, same both sides. Good storage under here. Fuel tank in the middle, battery under this side. Looking over the transom, ski pole. Always good to have a ski pole like this on a boat like this. It's down to the, down to the floor, because then you're getting a lot more strength if you're pulling on this, that can bend. So make sure this goes right to the floor. Fuel tank exterior here, so any spillage is into the bilge. And a nice telescopic ladder for getting your skiers and your swimmers back in and, board, in and out. Got a 150 Merc, four stroke on here. 150 to 200 is what the boat's rated for. Um, and as I said, you can get a stern drive model. It's a 180. Soon driving here, the only difference is the seating arrangement of the back's a little bit different. So that's the, the 185 Rayline. It's a pretty cool little ski boat. Uh, they've sold a lot of them in the South Island particularly, and uh, they're just another alternative to an American design, but with that little bit of a Kiwi influence. Yeah.